<laughs> but I mean, don't get me wrong. The art's pretty good. Yeah. Not this one. I'm a fan of the art. God, do you remember how any of the voices go? Forward! <laughs> Idiot. Let's go! Where are we going? I don't remember. <laughs> what is... Oh, we have to go see the bitches because we fucked up the ring thing? No, but we missed them. Yeah, we missed them. Oh, so we okay. came in. Uh, Damn. Damn. Left to death was too awesome. We forgot about Seal's needing. <sighs> now I can't even show my face to her friends, too. Fucking loser. Just apologize when you see them. It's their fault they didn't give you their cell phone numbers. Yeah, well, either way, there isn't anything I can do now. But to join me in buying Portrar 2. Portrar 2. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry you didn't make it, Seal. She does not mean that. I don't actually get These it. are not real nah, friends. It's cool. Come on, let's go watch Carmi buy his game. Mm. Alrighty then, follow me. <laughs> so, these are not real friends. I don't this care fucking, what you tell me. It's fucking gay. Hey, did you know what? After I buy the PX3 game, let's play it at my house. <laughs> uh, heck, we could even get some snacks. My treat. Huh, that's unusually generous of you. I don't know, maybe they're better <laughs> friends because they're just like, listen, this girl is not for you. You fuck the ship. Let's just go and have fun. <laughs> I look at the sun in a reflective... Stop skipping over things! I, I, I didn't realize that I would skip it. I thought it would just, like, pick oh, it to the end you. of the sentence. Well, I'm just... Oh, that's you. Uh, well, I'm just happy. No, I think you're sick. I'm going to die soon. <laughs> Touch my forehead. I swear, I'm not sick. They're so in together. Fine, then. Who are you and what have you done to our Carmi? Stop I'm... questioning my kindness! Hey, Seal, do you think this guy is Carmi... I think I'm talking to an imposter. Seal, tell her I've always been this kind when I'm really happy. Hey, Seal. Yoo-hoo. Earth to Seal. Hmm. Oh, fuck. That's you. Don't tell me you're still not okay with this Iris is already taking business. Is it because all their names start with C? It's... Fuck this game. <laughs> well... Dude, you're crying over spilled milk. The milk is my semen. You're right. <laughs> There's no point sulking unless I do something about it. I gotta be honest with you. Aiming for the director is hard even if she doesn't love that anonymous guy. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I'm just saying you're fucking worthless. Unless you really love her, then feel free to do your best. But, well, as much as I hate to say this, all I've seen you do so far is stalk her. Not that easy, you know. <laughs> you don't have a dick. <laughs> Not easy. That's what th that's what he thinks. That's the twist. No, it's not easy if you're not making friends with her. Have you tried talking to your crush one on one without saying anything stupid? I gotta be honest. Again, you sound crazy just now. What? First off, you already did just a while ago. Yeah, and I messed up. And second, even if I say something stupid to my crush, I don't care. You want to know why? I just imagine, like, her orange Why? crush. Because I want to be with him. Oh! I don't care if I say or do something stupid as long as I can be with him. That's all that matters to me. It's because it's you, Seal! Even if... Even if I'm doing something as stupid as supporting him to go with another girl. Seal, you fool! I didn't know you had a crush. S fuck, Seal. Fuck, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this game, fuck this guy. You want to know what I think? <laughs> fuck this game, what? What do you think? A serious tone of voice came oh, from Carmi. Oh, you're reading. I thought I wanted to hear your opinion <laughs> on this fucking idiot. Here, wait, wait, hold on, here's my opinion. Love is like a gamble, <laughs> an all or nothing thing, like a Russian roulette. No, everyone shut the fuck up. You'll either experience sweet, eternal happiness, or feel the worst pain you can possibly imagine. Holy fucking shit seal. <laughs> you fuck this guy, fuck yourself. Fuck Iris, you're an idiot. So in my case, I'd rather have no crushes or lovers or any of those stuff. I don't mind being single as long as I don't have to feel what that worst pain you can possibly imagine. He so just, he's a so he's a loser. He just wants to play Russian roulette. Or he, no, he just doesn't want to play Russian roulette. It's his he, whole he, thing. He's the guy who's just randomly banging people when he's 20. Like, he just doesn't care. It like, never been an actual relationship. That's who that is. He's like a less charming Neil Patrick Harris <laughs> inside um, uh, How I Met Your Mother. Exactly. Except he has a vagina. 
is what I'm getting at with this guy because he's obviously. You're gonna lose five bucks. Not losing five bucks. Happy. You're saying it as if love is all about pain. No, I'm not saying that, but there's a chance, right? I guess so. Oh my fuck. Seal, shut the fuck up. Skip his line. <laughs> Skip it again. <laughs> fuck him. That's the spirit. Fuck him in the ass. Whatever you gotta say. To the PX3 shop. Okay, here's the thing. We should choose her because she obviously likes him, but conversely, he does not deserve her by this point. He's a fucking moron. Let's go to the guy. Uh, sure. <laughs> to the PX3 shop. You can't do a three-way high five, you losers. That's what you think. <laughs> I've tried it before. Holy shit, their faces. Oh, oh man, that, that's the end. Oh shit, that's the end. Good. So we so, got the PX3 ending because he's so fucking dumb. So wait, 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 wait. That means he's not. That means we didn't find out anything. Yeah, like. <sighs> oh gosh. We learned nothing. We have learned absolutely nothing. Like, 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 how many choices was that? Three, four, five, five, I think. five, five. I think. Fuck this game, man. Because ice cream, something with the girl, something else with the girl. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay. Time wise for like where to go and Okay, we're gonna Because don't, we uh, don't hold... don't tell we're gonna do this again. No. What I'm gonna tell you is we're gonna we're gonna dissect this a little bit. We're gonna have a talk. We're gonna okay. have a talk with the audience because this ended quickly. Okay, here's the thing. If you are a writer, if you are writing I know the guy who made this it just, well, this is just the thing he's making. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But but okay, okay, if, well, let me hear this, because I will actually defend some of this. No, okay, here's the thing. I, I get it. He was just making this for fun. That's fine. This is a silly game. But let me tell you something. If you're going to make a serious dating sim, I threw my glasses, I'm so mad. Make the characters somewhat intelligent. The reason I say that is because this cocksucker is an idiot. He looks like uh, the main character from Persona 3 right now. He does. But the thing is, it's... It's so frustrating when there's a character who... I had this problem with Mega Tokyo as well and a couple other stories. Where it's just like... Oh, I remember this argument. Why is the male character always so fucking dumb about all of the women who obviously like him? In real life, in the real world, Tony, there's this thing called subtlety. Where you can't tell for certain about things. She wants his dick. That's not even a question. That's she, not even a question. She, she, she just wants to be in a relationship. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, my point, my point is this. My point is this. You do not associate with this person. He is insufferable. He has been insufferable from moment one of this game. I hate him. I hate him so much. I, like, there are actually a ton of things I agree with you on that one. <laughs> Like, one thing, the main character... is such a fucking dunce. Like, again, this isn't a serious dating sim game. Yeah, like, this guy, like, like it's a fine... He was making a game for it's fun. It's a visual... It's it's like a, a light visual novel at this point. Well, yeah. And the guy who was making it was making it for fun. He was doing it to be yeah. silly. That's fine. Yeah, and like, 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 it had this disclaimer at the beginning, so we knew that... <laughs> it does have a disclaimer at the very beginning, like, this game is about a... Dude with a fucking dick. Don't, like, expect anything great. It's called Spot the Hermaphrodite. <sighs> like, although, okay, what I really do enjoy, though, as I said in the beginning of, of this part right here, yeah, I really like the art style that was that this was done in. Oh, yeah, it's got a good art style. And, like, yeah. part of it's CG, part of it's, like, hand-drawn like this. Mm -hmm. Like, I... I really like some of the designs. This is a this. terrible screen to be talking about this on. Hold on. I'm going to go to something better for us to be talking about the art. Uh, Let's just flip through these. Okay. See, see if the there's like a flip got. through option. Like, is there a... No. Uh, oh, we didn't game the extras. Well, here. See, those are like the... Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Um, there we go. That's... Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll use this one. See? It, it looks nice. Like, like, this is very nice. The, the, the backgrounds blend wonderfully with the people like like because what what i've noticed in a lot of like visual novels and like sims yeah is that the background just it's it's not even a background at this point it's just like 
a set screen in the back. Yeah. But but this one blends incredibly nice. Yeah. The the artwork actually is quite nice. Um and frankly, like designs are good. I actually I really like the designs of the the outfits that they're wearing, mm-hmm. even if they're horribly impractical. Um and yeah. And we can't trust enough the guy making this is is being being silly and this wasn't a yeah yeah th- this wasn't a serious serious project but we're gonna we're we're gonna look for some more dating sims and the thing the, I think something that's fair to say about you and me we actually like dating sims well yeah like here's the thing it's not something that it's a big market in the U S or anything no. it, it, it's interesting because Persona Three is is like kind of like was the gateway yeah where. It's a people simulator. It's yeah. the whole thing. Well, what I like about dating sims normally is I, I like that they have very, normally, very well-told stories about uh, relationships, basically. that That's what yeah. I find interesting about them. Um, and yes, there are the hentai ones, which are also lovely for their own reasons. They, they can have a good story. They can. And in fact, a, a big thing that makes, um, we're getting very philosophical here, but there's something very different about most of Japanese hentai and erotica and things like that versus american versions are they tend to be very story driven which which again is very different to the us the closest thing we have are fan fictions really like like you know how there's like plot novels literary novels yeah like like literary porn is is, is one of my favorite terms i've i've heard about and it. it's it's a thing in japan they have literary porn which is a fascinating concept that we have sort of begun to embrace actually here mm-hmm. we're starting to do it more with things like, and I hate to bring it up, but Fifty Shades of Grey is essentially. A I'm really step. happy you brought that up because I was just about to, and I didn't want to be that guy. I, I know, and but it mind. really, it really is. It is sort of the beginnings of literary porn. It's a cold, dark beginning, but it's a beginning. <laughs> it's the dark ages. It's the we're, we are in the equivalent. We we of the, we're in the literary porn dark ages. We are in the 1200s as far as literary porn goes. In anyway, Japan's modern day. We're getting, we're getting very off topic here. What we're saying is we're going to look at more dating sims in the future. This one, if you're looking for a laugh, go for it. But don't expect, like, a heartfelt tale. I feel like the uh, one thing... Okay, so putting things I did enjoy and didn't enjoy in this together, just, like, as a summary. Yeah. First thing, list off a few things for you. Uh, I enjoyed uh, art style. I thought... Um, Particularly in the girls, the girls all had very good art style, which is important in a dating some four guys. Well, also there was only one other guy, and we did a per- first person perspective for almost like ninety nine percent of the game. Um, yeah, the art style is really nice, and uh, I mean, frankly, it's called Spot the Hermaphrodite, and it was surprising. Well, it's technically called D's Days. Yeah, D's Spot the Hermaphrodite, but the thing is, it was actually surprisingly deep, like, not deep, but uh, more tasteful than I was expecting it to be regarding that. Yeah, like, we even put a disclaimer at the beginning of the first one, Because we? We, we were afraid it might be horribly yeah, inappropriate. We did not know what we were getting into. But I've actually looked up other parts of the game that I knew we weren't going to get, and, I mean, overall, the game is not horribly offensive in any capacity. Um, Which I... It's weird. It's, as you it's, said, tasteful. Yeah, it's weirdly tasteful, which... It's not something you always see. Uh, you go ahead now. You finish up here. Okay. The one thing I, the overall, what I liked, art style. The like art style is the number one. The, the the way that everything blends together, it's easy on the eyes. It's yeah. the characters well designed, but all of that is under art. Story, it's it's not offensive. It's tasteful. Yeah. It's one. I won't say wonderful, but it's wonderful in the fact that you can go from one direction, like saying like, oh, hey, I'm going to follow this vanilla story. Like, like you know, yeah. the way we followed are probably going to follow the other person. I'm going to say those are probably vanilla stories. But what we looked up earlier was also like, oh, hey, or you can get into like something completely different. Yeah. Like, I like how it branches out, but I also don't like how I, it's, well, what, what is it? It's very sharp turns. Yeah. It, the, the the story itself kind of bland, but I mean it's it's not a serious project. We well, said that. Uh, like like for an independent project submitted, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, this is wonderful for like if if, if this was one guy or two guys, yeah, this is or even wonderful. a small group, yeah. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> I'm just going through it. Yeah, this is all though just overall 
it's not something I'd probably keep playing and playing again. It's not one of my favorites. It's Yeah. But then again, it's, it's hard to find good ones in the US, so what are you gonna yeah. do? It's it's a very casual one. Yeah. It's incredibly casual. There's five choices. If yeah, if I was gonna if I was gonna throw out like ways to, to do better um to, to the fellow who did this if he if they were looking for suggestions. Um, I'd say you need more options. You need to give the players more stuff to do. Um, Look, because I, it's hard to get invested in somebody as much of a dick as Seal. Like just making the main character a better in general, just like not a dunce. <laughs> so I can. Spell. You are, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> See, like that's pretty good. I'm enjoying this. He's he, he he's an idiot, but at least that part's funny. The the parts that we saw wasn't really. Yeah, I'm just going through now, seeing like what happens when I choose different things. Uh, it like it's an interesting game. The the final thing that I would probably say to improve on is, I feel like that he can make like a better dating sim and not a visual novel with this concept. Yeah, like the visual novel style that he has right here with very little choices. Um. The, like, very incredibly linear, not like you choose who to go after or anything. Mm -hmm. I feel like that doesn't really fit the way that this has been presented. Yeah. I I, I feel like it could be way better with, like, the... That teacher. Oh, yeah, we, we saw her before. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> like, I feel like it would be way better inside the dating sim format with, like, way more choices. Since you're the character, you... He, we wouldn't really have him be so stupid. Mm hmm Just things like that. We never saw, like, her ever after, like, the second time, did we? No, she sort of fucked right off. So anyways, about that bet. What? Uh, they, we, we should, like, at, at least, like, play through one more time, but, like, not, not, like, recording, just, like, just to tell them who won. Uh, I, I, I suppose, I, I suppose we should. That's actually sort of, I've been trying to get to a point where we could find out uh, just really quickly. That's why I'm clicking so fast through all of this. Yeah, um, I'll help. I, oh, shit. That actually does help. There we go. This is wonderful. This is like we're, super speed. We will inform you. We gotta go fast. We're gonna find out right now. We're gonna find a penis in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I hope like that doesn't auto-choose things because we might just get the exact same ending as before. She is so angry, like, that we did not know about her story. She's so cute. Much, much want. He is. He is. <laughs> they all have penises. That's the twist. Spot the hermaphrodites. All right. Uh, all right. Wait, was that a choice? I, I don't think know. it was. Uh, whatever. Just keep going. Okay. Keep going. Okay, if we get out of... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh here... Um... No, hold on. You're into this crap love you say. crap you say? You don't know anything about love. Okay. You don't belong here. I don't know what that means. On we go. Okay, so we're, we're going to say don't skip class. Yeah, we're going to stay in class, I think. Because that I think that was... I can't. I can't. You guys go ahead, yeah. Uh, I feel like wait, the time passes... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Let's see. You don't have to lie. I can tell you're... What, what the fuck? is going on here? <laughs> let's just hold for a moment here. Is that a Titan? <laughs> All right, let's go a little slower. Um, what is <laughs> this? Uh, no, I finished it in like about three days. Blah, blah, blah. Stop running the fun. You guys go ahead. I still got to meet with some people. All right, we have to do this stupid thing with the director. Can we... Go uh, forward? Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. I think this is it. I don't blow on the streets, no thanks. Might get the wrong idea. Uh, I'll just go by myself, sniff. See you guys tomorrow. I better go now, too. I, th I, I think I know what to do here. I don't know, tomorrow, yeah, while you're, why not play your RPG? <laughs> Have fun, okay? On my way, here go, that's fine, bring Dirk Matt. Hey, hey check. How's know, it going? Don't know what's up. Uh, nice to see you, though. Okay, yeah. They're not here. Fetch me away, I take it. Right, I'm hmm. No, I think... Hold on. Crack. What? Oh, oh god. Yes! See, this is the sharp turns I was talking about. Good. All right, let's do it. Damn, I don't feel so good. Is this... Am I in the cafeteria? 
I tilt my head back and look around to find out where I am. And that's when I notice someone is behind me, touching my back. Worse is, I'm tied to this person, and I can't turn my head further to see the face of this person. Person. Uh, oh. Hey, you're finally awake. Wait, what? D damn, where am I? Wait, that voice. Is that you, Charmy? See? see <laughs> <laughs> what are you Good. doing here? I don't think we're going to find out who the permaphrodite is, but we're going to find out something. <laughs> Uh, maybe he is the hermaphrodite. You know what? Now I'm actually kind of scared. Let's just see where this is going. Chop through my back. Hey, that happened to me too. What do you think happened? I don't know. Someone used a taser and kidnapped us? Kidnapped? Why us? We're not even rich. Got any enemies? Your mom. <laughs> a sudden voice from afar echoes through the room. Coo 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 coo. <laughs> Put the lights on the set to get the camera ready while I go check on the actors. What? Did you hear that? Oh, hey there, my dear actors. Finally awake, I see. What is happening? What is going on? Carmine? Isn't she the director's friend? <laughs> what is this? Let me give you guys a short introduction to my side job. A year ago, what? Iris declined my proposal for the brilliant episodic film. <laughs> so instead, I just became the director and producer of this special project of mine. She's secretly a supervillain. <laughs> Good thing I'm friends with Iris. I'm able to borrow the film equipment she uses for her films. And be delighted that you guys are going to be the main characters for my latest episode. I'm it's scared. It's called The Secret Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> main characters? Why do you have to kidnap us then? We'd, we'd love to participate. Hey, I didn't say anything about participating. Shut up! <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you guys will disagree with my project. Most of my f main characters find it that way. <laughs> What's this film about? It's a snuff film. It's an episodic film about guys making out. Okay, you're right. He's <laughs> he's the hermaphrodite. We don't know that. Just you wait. Could you repeat that? It's about guys making out. Are you mad? Who the hell would watch that kind of film? Thousands. I'm already making millions. What? <laughs> Didn't you see Mike's poll in DeviantArt? The leading... This actually happened. I checked earlier. The leading vote there is boy-on-boy boy intimate display of affection. Who the heck is Mike? A lot of girls love to see two cute boys getting it on. That's just sick. I actually know she's right, because one time I ran into an Armin Aaron... <laughs> let's, let's go forward. And if we don't do it... Shuffle, shuffle. Look at her face. That's a rape face. <laughs> Even if you torture us, I'm not going to work for a filthy film like that. Ever heard of that accident that happened three months ago? That that accident where two guys died from falling from a broken railing? The news said they were in a fight and caused them to fall five stories high. Grin. <laughs> Shit. I'm glad you guys can finally see it my way. Okay, ladies, untie them and escort them to the set. And don't forget to always hold on to your tasers at all times. I can't believe this. Let's just get this over with. I, I don't want to die, man. Good. Lights. Camera. Penis. <laughs> what are... This wasn't the ending I had anticipated. This is the dark side of the net. <laughs> End. We have yet to find out who the hermaphrodite uh. is. But we've learned something today. He's not? Oh, the thing is, he still might be, but... I mean, but look at the shirt. The, the shirt's open. But it's not showing us anything. He... We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. We hope you enjoyed that little extra bonus scene. What just happened?